Hey guys, Gokusum for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, we'll be going over to the Pewter City Gym Leader and challenging the Gym Leader Brock. Now, this gym isn't too hard. All you have to do is battle a trainer and then the Gym Leader, which is two battles in total. And this is a rock type gym, so if you chose any starter, Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur, you should have an easy time. Uh, if you guys are questioning me on the Charmander, Charmander does learn Metal Claw at an early level, so you shouldn't have too much troubles in this gym. And we're going to battle the first trainer right here. Now this trainer is Camper Liam, and Camper Liam has two Pokemon on his team. He has a Geodude, which is level 10, and a Sandshrew, which is level 11. Um, this shouldn't be a too, too hard of a battle for us, just, be, just because we do have Vine Whip on our Bulbasaur. And we should be able to take this Geodude in one shot, which we do. Nice. Geodude does go down. And we'll almost go up to level 13 right here. Now Sandshrew... He does love to use sand attack, so watch out for that if you are using a Bulbasaur because you will miss a Vine Whip, and he does have tackle as well, so you don't really have to worry about him being too strong with his attacks, and he also likes to use Defense Curl, so if you don't like defense raising Pokemon, make sure you take this thing out in at least two shots, like we did just there. So Bulbasaur is going to go up to level 13, and we defeated Camper Liam. Not too hard of a battle, this is a pretty easy gym. Um, you shouldn't have too much troubles with it, again, with any starter. Uh, if you are having troubles, though, make sure that you get a Mankey from Route 22 and teach it Low Kick. Um, that's a very good strategy to add to using this gym if you are struggling a bit. You shouldn't be, but just in case if you want a backup plan. So we're going to challenge the Gym Leader Brock right here. And Brock is a Rock-type Gym Leader, like I said earlier. He has two Pokemon on his team. He has a Geodude and also an Onix. The Geodude is level 12, and the Onyx is level 14. Now, when battling Brock, you want to make sure you take out the Geodude right away, in one shot at least, because if he gets a Rock Tomb off, you're going to have a lot of troubles in this gym if you have one Pokemon. Just because you do get your speed lowered, and Onyx is going to outspeed you, and probably maybe take you out with Rock Tomb the next turn. So we're going to go up a level right here, level 14. Went up two levels so far in this whole gym, that's good for us. And he's going to send out Onyx next. Now Onyx, I'm pretty sure should die in one whole Vine Whip right here. He is going to use Vine on us, that's fine with me. We don't get trapped in it like in the first games, red, blue, and yellow. And Onyx is going to go down in one shot. Nice. Light Bulb's not going to go up a level, but we did defeat the Gym Leader Brock right here. He is going to give us the Boulder Badge for our reward. And he also gives you the TM uh, Rock Tomb, TM39, which is a good move to put on your rock types or even your ground types just because it's a pretty decent move at the beginning of the game and also it lowers a opponent's speed if you can get it off so we got tm39 and i think we also got one thousand two hundred dollars so that's nice as well we'll also once you get the badge oh no i pressed a again my b <laughs> but once you get the badge you're going to be able to use flash outside of battle so once you go into any dark caves you'll be able to see pretty easily not like it's too hard you can go through caves anyways without flash but it's still pretty useful anyways guys i'm gonna end off the episode right here we're just gonna do the gym this episode and then the next episode we'll be traveling over east to the next route and also go fight our rival before we actually do that we still have to do a rival battle that I said earlier two episodes ago that I wasn't ready for. So anyways, if you guys did like this video, go ahead and tell me in the comment section down below what you did like about it, and also give me some criticism so I can improve my videos. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with a comment, yeah.